Hey everybody, Red October. Today is Thursday. Happy morning to you guys and gals out there in YouTube land. I hope everybody has a great day. I wanted to make this video yesterday. Didn't get a chance to really put some thought into it, so I'm trying it this morning. And, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of put this out there for everyone, not just the the people that this is directed at, but even my fellow brothers and sisters here on YouTube. If you're into firearms, you own firearms, I always want you to think and use common sense and keep a cool head about reacting to situations. Um, I know a lot of times we talk about, you know, if somebody breaks into my house, I'm going to let them have a load of buckshot and, and or I'm going to light up their ass or whatever. Maybe not to that extreme, but you get it. Um, I want you to keep a cool level-headed if at all possible uh, especially when the threats not in front of you but it's more you see it down the line or possibly thinking I need to take some action and what I'm getting at is you know the rifle you have in your home or safe and the pistols you may own um, those are tools um, for certain situations right uh, whether it's home defense your hunting or just self-protection against an intruder or maybe you're out in the wilderness and there's an animal threat uh, against your life um, those are tools to handle those situations right um, they have been tools to also to fight wars which most of us have never been in as far as combat goes including myself um, you know, those are tools that are used um, as far as revolution goes or an army or war. Those are tools used by many, 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 many people, not just soldiers, at one point, at one cost, to actually make a change happen on that scale. And what I'm getting at is you with your rifle or your pistol showing up at an event uh, held by leaders in power is not going to change the world it's not um, why people even think that or where they even get the notion or where um, the idea even comes across their mind that I'm going to get in my vehicle and with my AR or my AK and my pistols and I'm going to go down there and I'm going to show them uh, who's boss I'm going to I'm going to make change happen. If anything, you're making things worse. You're making things worse for those that believe and cherish and value and respect the Second Amendment of, the, of us in this country able to actually own firearms. Those who can own firearms for those reasons I stated in the beginning of this video. To protect, to, um, to handle a threat. Um, for hunting you are hurting those individuals so while you may cherish those those um, those privileges those rights today your actions tomorrow can ruin it for the next generation and for those still around after you're gone um, I've always been one to point out things in life and say don't do that oh that happened don't do that oh ooh note to self don't do that and you know same thing yesterday I thought to myself these guys that go out or women mostly guys go out and start shooting people that story ends the same every way and you would think that they would take note but I know that they're not thinking I know that there's no common sense in, in their brain at that moment for that day of that event because if they thought about it clearly and thought, you know what, everyone that has done this has eventually died. Either by law enforcement, maybe a good Samaritan citizen who happens to be caring, or they self-inflict that wound on themselves. They put that gun or that rifle, mostly gun, and they put it up here and then boom, they take themselves out after they've already uh, destroyed people's lives and change um, the landscape as far as 
how people view guns and it makes people on edge even more saying this is why we don't need people to have guns because people do this I think you know we're at a point that guns are out there they exist uh, the best thing you can do is educate people so going back to my point going on a political rampage of I have to make my point across because I can spend a long time just talking about this I don't want to do that but I see it time and time again people go on these shooting rampages and at the end it always ends the same so if you want me to predict your future and tell you right now what's going to happen is the, the future is you're going to die you're not going to you're not going to survive this event so if you're going into it with the notion that you're going to come out on top it's not going to happen um, political um, agendas and protests and you know th this whole left and right thing I think there's crazies on both sides lately it's been a lot of uh, liberals as far as showing the craziness because they're still mad that their side didn't win even if it wasn't Hillary the fact that there's a Republican Party in office they are upset and they are whining and crying and kicking and you know that's just childish and that is that is the world that we live in now is that if you don't get your way you stomp and jump up and down can you imagine if we had the Super Bowl and one team won and the other side that lost protested all year long until the next Super Bowl it, it, people would get so annoyed like let it go the game's over it's done it's in the history books move on get the next time that's how it feels to me that until the next election these people are going to be kicking and screaming I see it on my social media um, it, it's just it gets it's tiring it gets old and I'm sick of it and I'm like to the point where it just it's just crybabies you know it's like get over it be a grown-up go to work be responsible make some changes in your own neighborhood instead you're just kicking and screaming to the world that your party lost and you want change and the funny thing is they don't see the rhetoric uh, rhetoric that they um, that they are inflicting on on society with their protests and Antifa and their 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 violence is escalating it's, it's just to the point where it's just nonsense it's just it's childish so anyway that's my PSA to the to the folks out there and I hope that if any of you here on YouTube feel or get to the point where you feel like violence is the next step that you would take a moment and reach out to one of your fellow youtubers or your local friends or family members and say hey I feel this strong about this please talk to me and keep a cool level headed about your actions because your actions don't always play out the way you think they they do this is not a this is not a movie or a TV show or this is real life and believe me there are times that I think hey this is how things should be and this is how things will play out but I give it enough thought and I and I think to myself okay maybe that wouldn't work but you gotta think before you react because reacting before thinking will only cause you problems and I tell my kids the same that all the time think think before you act I know emotionally you want to react and you want to take that that violence or you want to take that next physical action but you got to think because we don't live in that day and age of cave, caveman where the the more dominant person wins in, in a physical fight you got lawsuits you got criminal history you got fines person gets injured you get sued I mean the the list goes on and on and on you have to think all right guys I'm way over my limit on these videos but I wanted to start off and put that PSA out there that um, use your brain. All right, God bless, right out.